Now I will advance to the next point by pressing the button on the top. So you see here it says lymph point 1. Before I start, I'd like to cover an important point, and that is reliable measurements to reproducible, reliable, reliable measurements. And for beginners, that's probably the biggest obstacle. Once you have that under control, it will be just wonderful to work with this type of equipment. And all it takes really is practice. So the best form to do this, once you get started, invite all the families and friends and test for a whole week from morning to night until you're exhausted. And during that process, you will learn it. Now, the probe here I set up without pressure on the skin. And then I increase my pressure. And you see it slows down. And that is, I reach the peak and I hold it. I hold this point and I get a very steady reading. I set the probe up without pressure on the skin. Then I increase my pressure and I feel it comes to a plateau. Even if I increase my pressure, it doesn't increase the reading. It's very stable. I reach the plateau. That is the actual measurement of the point. That's an important part. Often you find newcomers afraid to give that pressure because they're afraid I may hurt the patient. But you will not hurt the patient because you gradually increase your pressure by just setting the probe up, coming up, and here it slows down, I reach the plateau and now I hold it. Did this hurt? No. No. Now I'll show you a false technique which many times people struggle with. If I, if I approach the skin too rapidly, kind of a poking, and I do this, right now was that more pressure than before not really but I said a micro trauma to the skin by poking it and see my reading I have here now an 80 so this poking got me a false high reading and if I would test the point that would lead me to, oh, there may be some inflammation involved here, or an infection or something, or give me a completely wrong diagnosis because of my measuring technique. So you don't want to poke the point, because you set a microtrauma, and you can see it gets a little red. Although he personally did not feel any major discomfort, although sometimes you can feel that too. So therefore, it's important to gradually gradually increase your pressure. Once you establish a baseline reading, you come to the plateau, as I will do right now. Apply a little bit more pressure just to see if it's stable. Good. But many times newcomers are afraid to keep that pressure, they feel, oh, I may hurt the pain, and they will back off. And what happens then is, and here we witness an indicator drop. Due to, I release my pressure. So when you witness this, that there is an indicator drop, although you kept a steady pressure that is an indication that there is an organ weakness or maybe even a re degenerative process. And many times we see this in newcomers, they, because they have fear to hurt the patients, they release their pressure and you get what we call false indicator drops. It's a big obstacle with beginners, one of the biggest ones actually. So do not be afraid to hold the pressure and you, if you use water, you do not need to press so hard. So when you reach a plateau and it starts to drop, you hear the tone going down, push in a little harder and see if you can stabilize this. Or if it, and that will determine if it's a real drop 
If you cannot hold the reading and it's really going down, as you hear and see, or is it you who just backing off? And that's important to know. Sometimes when you take a test, you see a low reading. And I will produce one right now. See, that's a low reading, establish itself around 30. And then don't let that mislead you because a low reading you don't see so often. Low readings you see when there is a serious degeneration already took place or there might be a scar tissue blocking the energy flow through the meridian. Then you see this. If you get a low reading, make sure that it's really a low reading, that it's not you missing the point. Retest this point to absolutely make sure, yes, whatever you try, you push, you push, it just stays low. Because it's very serious and it will indicate that your therapy may take a long time. Sometimes during this procedure, you find that the readings get lower. Double check, does the patient still has good contact holding the electrode or maybe dehydrated? And all you do is you use a little water, wet in the palm and have him hold the hand electrode again. Use your water, you get always good reliable readings that way. Also, we should be aware of that a point can become fatigued by testing over and over again. Say you're doing a medication test you will test maybe 10 or 15 times the same point. And all of a sudden, you see a change in your baseline. It maybe used to be 70, all of a sudden it's 60, etc. It could be already a therapeutic acupressure taking place. So it also would indicate that it's not such a serious condition. And what you can do when a point gets tired, change to the other hand. Just use the other side, same point. And then after a while, you can go back to the point and you find it already rebalanced itself.